Just today, President Biden signed into law one of the most significant investments in fighting climate change ever undertaken by the United States. This comes days after he visited areas in Kentucky devastated by that record flooding. Experts say that flooding was exasperated by climate change. In-depth reporter Christiana Ford explains why scientists are now saying the shows it's almost impossible to ignore. Take a look behind me, you can light. see how low the water is, several feet below the banks. But at one point, it was as high as the mud line on this church here in Breathitt County. Researchers say it's evidence of climate change. Homes lifted from their foundation, floating, roads crumbled, landslides caused by a single flooding event, unprecedented rain of a 1,000 year event equivalent to a 636 year flood. It is far beyond anything that we have designed for or anticipated usually because we, we don't think in terms of 600 year floods. And in any given year, a 600 year flood event has a 0.002% chance of happening. Scientist William Hanneberg says that's a statistical way of explaining the probability of something happening in a given year. I think every credible scientist that I know of would say that we're, we're looking at the effects of climate change unfold before us right now. Hanneberg runs the Kentucky Geological Survey, which, among many things, studies and keeps track of geological hazards in the state. You can see the previous flood record from 1957. So that was 14.7 feet. The other day got to uh, 22 feet. This is what 22 feet of water does to a community. It totally overwhelms the system. And Hanneberg says, based on current predictions, it's only going to get worse. Kentucky will be getting gradually both a little bit warmer and a little bit wetter. Over the past 50 years, extreme weather events have increased in Kentucky. From 1970 to 2016, Kentucky had 59 presidential disasters declared, with 35 being declared since 2000. Based on that, Kentucky expects an average of one to two disaster declarations a year for the foreseeable future. What that means for Kentuckians. More hardship. Flooding is the most frequent and costly natural disaster in the Commonwealth, with an average annual loss of more than $40 million. Eastern Kentucky, with its steep slopes and narrow valleys, are no stranger to floods. But littered with abandoned coal mines, strip and surface mining, scientists think that is also playing a role in how severe it is. It seems like it, it must have an effect on the flooding, but we don't have enough information to know exactly how much. Former mining regulator Jack Spadaro is calling for an independent scientist-led investigation. Spadaro says in his more than 50 years in this line of work, he's seen a lot of evidence of the harm done by strip mining. We have found in all the studies we've done that mountaintop removal mining, contour mining, valley fields have caused uh, a, a, work, a significant contributing factor. As the climate warms and scientists expect more and more. It's not a debate about whether it's happening, it's a debate about how fast it's happening and, and, and how severe it's going to be. They're hoping advice of scientists will help prevent loss of life in the future. In Breathitt County, Christiana Ford, Evening Edition. There are still people who say climate change is a hoax. A study in the journal Nature Scientific reports that says about 10% of arguments from conservative think tanks in North America challenge global warming or question the data. And the most common arguments are that scientists and advocates can't be trusted and that the proposed solutions won't work.